that the sun is up, uh, you can see it clearer than ever, and, and luckily no one was um, seriously injured and no one was killed, but really when you look at this damage and how it affects other people, uh, it is devastating, especially for homeowners who have lived here for decades. This house you're looking at belongs to Deborah and David, and uh, you were both home at the time when the suspected tornado hit. You were actually outside by your garage. Yeah, and I, I, I went inside the garage and then I started to walk out again to look at the wind. And then I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden my husband had grabbed me, threw me on the floor at the back of the house and said, tornado. As soon as he said, I started crying. And all of a sudden it went still and then it, things start flying around in the garage. It was like being in a blender. Everything was hitting us and everything else. And then all of a sudden it stopped. And then when we got out, we seen the destruction of our, our property. And it's not just a, a house, it's my home. And we've been here 27 years. We put all that love and care into it and to see what a few seconds can do to your home is devastating. It must be so hard to look at this right now. And David, when you were trying to protect your wife, what went through your mind? I didn't want to lose her. Sorry, I just didn't want to lose her. Instincts kicks in or whatever it is, but all I remember is just grabbing her and pulling her to the back of the garage and Try to protect her best I could, but I know I'm, I'm sounding like a baby about that, right? But no, you don't. Until you're actually in there and feel the intensity of the energy, and to describe it on TV, you can't experience it. In a movie theater, you can't experience it. When it's true life, and every second seems like minutes, hours, you don't truly feel the nightmare you're going through. And no matter what you do and what you try to do, you try your best. And thank God we we're okay. Unscathed. Actually, look at the destruction. All she has is a scratch on her leg. But as long as everybody is okay, that's all that matters. And the cars, the house, everything else may be replaced. But just the person that you love. As long as they're okay. And I'm glad that you're both okay. Thank you very much. And God bless everybody else caught in this mess. Yep and let there be nobody hurt. And uh, actually, I, I spoke with the mayor and it looks like there were three people who uh, were sent to the hospital, but luckily they don't have serious injuries. Uh, but clearly, Carolyn, when you when you look at something like this, especially for people like Deborah and David, who have lived here for over 20 years, it is very, very difficult to look at because now the process of not just cleaning up, but rebuilding their lives will be a long one.